famines. I really like seeing Tamiyo, because to my mind, what I see Jace as... What I see Jace as... I see Jace as a, um, a kill condition, not a Value gain card. advantage thing. I mean, like, it's just a pure millstone. So you're, you're a zero. I'm a plus one. -er. Well, here's the thing, is that I like to plus one Jace. All right, so we have a Delver he... off secret. Oh, there we go. Right? We're starting it off. So we're starting. Uh, but, two life probe from March Sun. Yeah. But once you get to that point, I think that Tamiyo just does... When you're not using it as a kill card, I think Tamiyo does more work. Okay. Yeah. I mean, definitely affecting the board is much stronger than drawing a card. Now, interestingly, um, Anthony Eason's Delver list is not running uh, Angels at all. No, he is not. He's going to be at a significant disadvantage, I He feel. does have Faith's Shield, which is very powerful. Two of them. And he's two. got... This is game three, space. but he has uh, two timely reinforcements, man. Or something. I also feel like we're at the point where um, uh, Vapor Snag is a card that you can keep in. in the right, mirror. right. Um, pre a lot of previous versions of Delver were just Invisible Stalker, Geist of Sand Trap. Like, the only Vapor Snaggable card was Delver and Moreland Haunt tokens, realistically. So, um, but we're coming back to the point where with Restoration Angel, Vapor Snag gets a little better, which makes Compass. That makes Consecrated Sphinx awful in the mirror. Like, getting a Consecrated Sphinx Vapor Snag is just... It's a terrible feeling. It's yeah. absolutely terrible. Like, there would be a lot of times I have a Mana Leak, and I'm just like, I'd rather Vapor Snag it just to make them spend six mana next turn. Then I can Mana Leak it. All right, so Mark's on off to a slow start. Oh, hmm. This is Anthony. I, did he shuffle on his ponder? Uh, Anthony pondered on his turn. And both of them played a Glacial Fortress tapped on turn two. So Anthony's going to go for the, the rebuy on... Uh, rebuy on ponder, try and flip his Delver. He's going to keep this one. So Markson's under the gun somewhat. I mean, in a lot of ways, this matchup plays out like a two people on a rocking rowboat where things start shaking it up. And the person that actually starts it shaking, it's usually because they've got some sort of aggression going on. Mm -hmm. And the other one can just fall off the boat. You'd be like, oh, I fell off, you know? Yeah. But like, if they can both start rocking it, you both are just kind of shifting back and forth, and then suddenly it comes to a point where there's a key turn, mm -hmm. and everything flips to one person's advantage. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think of what, you, like, maybe like some sort of like jousting thing where you hit somebody. Yeah, if you yeah. hit them real hard, they'll fall off. Right. Maybe that's it. Like, it's the American Gladiator yeah. style uh, pogo sticks. Yeah. Sort of, you know? Uh, Mark Sun and his foils. Uh, Mark Sun has missed on his Delver. I would have, I'd have liked to see a, a block of the Snapcaster Mage, to be honest. Right I'm, now, Mark is valuing his Snapcaster, uh, or, sorry, that his, uh, his Delver as more than that Snapcaster. Right. Okay, it makes sense if he has a Ponder in his hand. Okay. What I'm, this matchup obviously doesn't feature any red cards other than uh, gut shot maybe somewhere. Uh, uh, two gut shots. Two gut shots. Anthony. But I'm actually really curious if we're going to get an opportunity to see whether or not uh, Christian Calcano's blue red list will show up here today. All right, so I'm of the opinion that if Christian Calcano's deck had four sofa falls in it and cleaned up some of the numbers, like it was just all over the place, people would respect it more. Yeah. As being like. Obviously, he has like the the structural snag for one of the Delvers. Okay. Yeah. He has the structural integrity. All right, snag for snag, snag, snag my snag, Delver. Snag. I snag you, Delver. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has the structural integrity. Like obviously, uh, like Galvanic Blast and Incinerate are largely interchangeable, or like Pillar Flame. They do different things, <coughs> but for the most part. They, they have the same. They serve the same role. 
We see the Delver rebought by Anthony Eason. Mm -hmm. I'm right down. Uh, and I feel like if uh, if Calcano would have played like three of the same card, people would respect his deck a lot more. A flip for Mark Sun off of Gitaxian Probe. Yeah, he seems uh, significantly behind here, although he does have more spells because he has he is, does not have a fourth land, which is actually a good thing a lot of the time. Probe for life. Yeah, so his uh, Mark Sun obviously feels safe in his position at least. Leak. Image, Snapcaster, and a six land fortress. So blank, a blank card essentially. All right, fourth land for Markson. So it puts him on. And look at this attacking. Yeah, that's. that's I feel like Anthony's going to make a Moreland hunt. I feel. I mean, we can't see the graveyards. Um, I don't. I don't know if Anthony has anything dead. It's, uh, yeah. I'm just checking to see what Mark has. All right, so uh, Mark Timely mana maybe? leaks. Anthony goes for a Snapcaster, and Mark uh, mana leaks. This is a really bizarre attack for me. Yeah, I agree. Like... An aggressive attack. You're behind on life. Yeah. You have the same clock. It's not like he's doing three versus one or three versus two, and he plans on changing the, the math. I mean, maybe he's got some uh, more vapor snags in his hand. Well, he also, has a, I, I feel he has another Delver in his hand, right? That he did not play. Yeah, yeah, he has a Delver in his hand. He didn't uh, that play. Would, Snap so Snapcaster. Caster and that. And remember, Anthony has. Oh, a leak. he has a fifth land. Hmm. Okay, that was end of your turn, Itis. Once his opponent casts the Snapcaster and he leaks it, you, he you needs to snap. Yeah. And then vapor snag immediately yeah, just was, to get yeah, that, that out of the a, way. Yeah, significant misplay from Mark. Mark actually has five lands. Uh, there's there's one on there's a Seacrum Coast on top of the three fortresses. So uh, Mark actually has five lands. So he's a I feel like Mark ha does Mark have a saving grasp in his deck or did he cut that? Man, I have a say I have a saving grasp in my version of Delver. So we got an image. Uh, looks like that's gonna. I could. Oh wow! An insectile aberration. Huh? Maybe. Okay. Right, so Markson is about to play. Huh? What's what's going on here? So it looks like Anthony made a Moreland Hot token. Yep. Okay, now Markson realized like that he probably should have done this earlier, and Markson is going to Snapcaster his Vapor Snag. There we go. So now, now Mark's in really good shape. Like maybe Marks is like, well, I have I have an, an advantage here. I'm going to have three, two flip delvers, because the image is a flip delver. And I'm going to have a, a Snapcaster to block once I because he saw like once you have good tax, you probably have perfect information. Yep. And Markson had better information than we did. <laughs> right. So, well, yeah, he is at a low life. Because we didn't know Mark's hand. Right. Even so, I still think that that, that particular turn was probably too aggressive. It, it was absolutely aggressive, but I don't know about too aggressive. Uh, and we have an image. Image. That's going to... Is it, do we still have a Vapor Snag? It's going to Snapcaster. It's going it, to kill that, that image. image. And so if he had a, another... So, yeah, Mark could have died there if Anthony is in flips Delver with a Vapor Snag. Because that would bounce the Snapcaster and five damage would get through. Looks like that's Mark's graveyard. Is that what we're seeing here? Okay. So, and then, why, does, why does he want to see the graveyard? Is he? I hope Anthony doesn't have a surgical extraction. I hate surgical extraction in yeah, these matchups. Oh, well, to be fair, he doesn't have surgical because uh, he would have. Anthony's good enough to surgical like a, the vapor snag or whatever. When he, right, right. He's trying to see like what kind of range of cards. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Anthony Sin is a former U.S. national team member back when we had those. I missed that. That yeah, was the greatest. No. They're bringing that back next year, right? Maybe two years uh, from now? 
they the, have to realize how much they lost. By uh, yeah, how that, much? Uh, I mean, they're not bringing back. They didn't bring back uh, states. It's a, it's oh. a TO thing now. So, oh, I yeah. You any if you talk to any like accomplished pro player, it's like what what thing Delver. do you want to do? You want to like Brian Kidd was like, man, I wish I could have been on the U.S. US national, national team. team. Yeah, I mean, one of the people that I think should still be in the Hall of Fame, Justin Gary, you know, a U.S. national champion and two-time U.S. national team member, mm -hmm. like. He views his U.S. National Championships as a bigger accomplishment than his top eights at Pro Tours. Oh, uh, well, because back then it kind of was. Well, no, it was, yes, there was more money involved. And yes, the, money, yes, the, yes, level, the, the level of play was yeah, huge. But tough just, to qualify for U.S. Nationals. But just this. Back in the day. The, the honor of it. Yeah. It felt awesome. I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, um, like, the world team competition, like, you, you know who you at least you know who your country team team uh, members are and you know and you follow them like I remember world's coverage like first three people would be like you know player A player B player C on the US national team we got a second Moreland haunt from Anthony Easton now <laughs> that's I an think eighth he, land I think he has two creatures in his yard a snapcaster I, he already removed one earlier okay so only one left uh, yeah only one left uh, as so as I mean, any a snapcaster is just like. Yeah, we'll get a check. Nope, not a miracle. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, so that's a fantastic draw for Mark's son. Uh, what was it? A Moreland hunt. Oh boy! Now he can actually get rather, back into the action. Yeah. He is no. on a scant three life, facing a uh, snapcaster mage or. Uh, a faux Snapcaster Mage in Phantasmal Image and a unflipped Delver of Secrets. Anthony has had this unflipped Delver of Secrets in play for quite some time now. And goodbye to the Snapcaster Mage in the yard. We have a Spirit. And do we look? It's a good card. I like it. <laughs> it's not a spell. Not a miracle. Yeah, and truly, like, even like a miracle card, like a Treat the Angels, like, th <laughs> this is a very interesting game right now. And a treat would totally make this game unfun. <laughs> you know, you talked before about the deadness of those lands. If Anthony brought in Consecrated Sphinx, which I'm not saying he should or shouldn't, but if he did, he's getting to the point where he can lay a Sphinx and have Mana League backup. Back, yeah. He cannot pay for Mark's Mana League, but... Well, Mana uh, League is absolutely a dead card for Mark now. Yeah, he's uh, actually one card away from being... He's Consecrated Sphinx facing. with a dead man leak from Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> old, old Primeval Titan style. Get to nine. Mark and Anthony stare at each other. I think it's on. It's on <laughs> okay, yeah. This is a, this is a good There game. we go. Oh, he <laughs> lays it. He lays it. It's the ninth mana from Anthony. He's ready. And we finally see a Steel Sabotage, I think. Um, Thought Scour. Thought Scour, yep. Which is actually super good right now. Yeah. Um, you know, just being able to fuel that Moreland Haunt. The, Mark's Moreland Haunt is very fueled. Yeah. Uh, he just drew his Moreland Haunt, whereas Anthony's had his in play for a while. Thought Scours himself. Two, Two lands. lands. Perfect. <laughs> If, you, if the draw. lands are going to be somewhere in their deck, that's a good place for them to be. Um, you obviously rather them be either creatures or spells. Okay, I've got a question for you. Since you had Tamayo in your build of Delver, do you want Tamayo against another Delver deck, or do you Absolutely side it out? Absolutely not. Side so, it that's out. What I, that's what I thought. Yeah. Especially if they're an Angel Delver deck. Yeah, they, you play it, and then it's just going to get attacked. That was my feeling, too. What if they're not an Angel yeah. Delver deck? I still don't like it because they probably have Geist. stalkers and geists. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, uh, once again, one of the strengths of the Delver deck is they have to. They want to play about you know somewhere between fourteen and eighteen creatures, and that means the Delvers and Snapcasters are locked in, right? But every the modern trend is for the other the other threats to be like super resilient, like. Super hard to kill, hard to interact with because the Delvers are so easy. Man, Anthony Easton is flooding hard. That's a tenth land. Ten man. Well, now he can. Uh... 
<laughs> the, things you can do for 10 mana in Anthony's now, and Delver deck. Now he can cast Batter Skull, ha cast Mana Leak, and have Mana Leak free mana open. Or return mana. <laughs> and in we um, come. A real actual insect coming in for three, one insect hanging back, and a Geist. A Geist with some large number of mana held back for Mark, including Moreland Haunt mana. Yeah. Anthony dropping like a stone here. He's, he's like shocked that this is actually an instant. Meanwhile, you can see a slight earthquake moving the table around. Uh. <laughs> okay. Also, Anthony isn't deciding what, what he wants to do with his... Uh... He, he looked at the card for a long time. A long time. Yeah. I wonder what it could have been. Like, what kind of instance would you not want to reveal? Or is he just doing the, like, God, I can't believe I drew an 11th land. <laughs> how, many, how many lands does Anthony have? He has uh, 22? Yeah. Okay. I thought Anthony was looking really good this I game. I did too. Jeez. I also know Anthony is it as like a blast to cue with after events. Uh, he definitely plays magic because it's fun. He's not trying to, you know, get anywhere and uh anyway. Remember, I, at one of the Invitationals, we did a uh, Survivor Draft, cube draft. Yep. Where you uh, 5v5. Yep. And every round you vote one of your one of your players off. I invented that format. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, that is a great... I mean, I'm pretty sure CBS invented that format, but... Uh, <laughs> unless you did... Unless you invented Survivor Draft before Survivor and called it something else. No, I called it... Uh, when, for, when Survivor first came out. Okay, you was like, how do we... First season. Wow, that's we awesome. Because we would have 5v5 drafts, and I was like, let's do it Survivor style. And you'd have to, like, this was uh, with Dave Williams and a bunch of other people mm -hmm. way back in the day. Yeah. I think, I don't remember what the first season of Survivor was, but that was when we did it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm no Survivor. We need to get Ken Croner on this. There uh, we go. Stat. Blue on the shields. Does not work. Dismember. Dismember? How does Dismember work? Um, does he have enough life to cast Dismember? Yeah. Okay. I think, actually, he does not have enough life to cast so it. So he could not cast it. Yeah. Um, now, remember, at, at um, what is it called when you're almost dead? Um, last Stand? I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, your, your last rights. L yeah, that means that everything gains protection. Oh, okay, yeah. Did Mark have enough blockers of different colors? I don't know. Everything is gone. Yeah. <laughs> the Faith Shield named blue. Uh, there was a Maybe. Geist. There was a, okay, a name spirit. Blue. A spirit gets the well, block. The, the, the Geist of St. Traps definitely yep, not blocking. Yep. Uh, I'm just trying to remember what all the creatures were. One spirit, I think, was all that there was out. He could make a second spirit that would give him two blockers. Um, were, there, were there four creatures? There, were, uh, there was Image, Snapcaster, Flipped Delver, and a spirit. Okay. That would have done it. That would do it. Yeah. <laughs> On the nose. 